Hello everyone, my name's Marty Jopson. Welcome to Micro Minute. Today, as with a few other previous episodes, I've been given the opportunity by uh, the lovely people down at Zeiss, who are up there, uh, to control a scanning electron microscope. So this means we can see things uh, much, much closer. We've got much, much more magnification to play with, and it gives us incredible detail and sort of wonderful 3D imagery. And um, it's Ken who's down at, at, at the Zeiss headquarters near Cambridge, where the scanning electron microscope is sat. And he's, uh, what he's done is he's taken a cricket, uh, the sort that's normally used for feeding um, uh, lizards and things like that. And we're going to have a look at that under the scanning electron microscope. So I'm going to pull up the, the actual uh, microscope itself because I'm seeing it on a screen here and controlling it with me with my mouse. So let's pull that up. If I do that, it should come up and I'll put Zeiss away. And there it is. So what you're seeing here is immediately below me here, just there, are all the controls so that you've got, and I can highlight them here, what we've got here is the controls. This one here, actually, this bottom one here, this bar at the bottom, uh, which is currently sort of set to the far left-hand side, that's the magnification at the moment. Uh, and what this is showing me at 17 times magnification is the little house cricket that was bought from a pet shop. Uh, it's um, house cricket Aketa domesticus. I had to look that up. Um, Southwest Af uh, Asian native, but um, sold in pet shops all over the world now as uh, food for um, things like lizards and snakes and stuff like that, I guess. Um, so what's happened is um, it's, it's sort of collapsed slightly because when you put things under the electron microscope, um, they get very dried out. It's in a vacuum, a partial vacuum, and that dries them out. So what's happened is it's sort of collapsed slightly. So here's its head of this thing. And this is a male. I can tell that because the females have a long sort of, oh, it's called an ovipositor at the back here sticking out. And that's not present. So um, this must be a male. There's its head and it's sort of collapsed in on itself. And you can begin to see all the hairy detail on this wonderful creature. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to just zoom in on one part of it. And I'm going to zoom in on its antenna here. So um, to zoom in, all I have to do is um, click over here. And that zooms in a little bit. We might have to focus as well, but we'll see how that works. Ken is behind the scenes tweaking the image as we go along. So um, I'll zoom in a little bit here and... If I do that, and immediately we kind of, boom, we zoom in a little bit. Uh, and I want to um, manoeuvre myself around a little bit. So if I focus, if I move it, and I can sort of change where we're looking, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go sort of there. We'll centre on that part. So here's the antenna. Uh, here's the head. Okay. There's one of its legs, its front legs, with its cl the claw on the front. And here's the antenna sticking up here. And the antenna is really, really hairy. The legs are hairy, but it turns out the antenna is even hairier on these creatures. So let's zoom in a little bit on this. Okay. Zoom in on the hairy legs. You can really see the hairy leg. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? The detail on this thing. Okay, and keep zooming in. So we've got the leg here again. This is the leg and this is the antenna of just an ordinary cricket. So this is a creature, it's a bit like a, um, a grasshopper. It's sort of related to the grasshoppers. Um, not quite sure what the difference is. I'm not sure, it's, uh, maybe it's not flightless or something like that. Anyway, it's a cricket. Um, and actually I'm gonna put my glasses on here because then I can really look at this and see how we're going. Yeah, we're going. We'll keep going in. We'll go in a bit further uh, because this thing has fantastic um, uh, powers of magnification. Now you can just about make out at the bottom of my screen down below over here, right? Down here, okay, there is a scale bar. Now you can't quite, it's just being clipped off the bottom, but that scale bar there, so between those two vertical lines is at the moment 80 micrometers. So a micrometer is a uh, let's get, let me see if I get this right. A micrometer is a thousandth of a millimeter, so eighty thousandths of a millimeter. And at the moment, my my sort of highlighter dot that you can see, the sort of the dot here that I've got, 
is that width. So this dot is 80 micrometers across. And just for sort of scale comparison, a red blood cell is 8 micrometers. Okay, and bacteria, you're down to sort of one or two micrometers. So we can go in, we can go in much closer than this, though. We're only at uh, 272 times magnification. So let's go in closer. We're getting really close. And now we're starting to see the individual hairs. Now, there are lots and lots of things going on here. So obviously, this is, this is the sort of the, the skin of the... Um, the antenna, the surface, which is made of chitin. It's layers and layers of chitin. It's the exoskeleton of the creature. And then sticking out are these hairs here. Uh, there are all sorts of other things on the surface. There are these funny little raisins here. And uh, I've discussed this with, the, 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 with Ken Down, who's the expert, and we don't know what these are. We have no idea. They're some sort of little flecks of stuff, and they're all over the place. And there are also other smaller little flecks that you can see in here that might be bacteria. It's hard to know to be precise on something like this. But what we can do is keep going, and you can see that the hairs themselves are not completely smooth. In fact, the hairs have... Let's, if I sort of centre it there, we might... Yeah, we can sort of see the whole... Hair. Actually, I'm going to go in on this one here. You can see the whole, it's some of these weird little raisins. Here's one of the hairs here, okay, and you can see it from sort of the root to tip, and it's got detail on it. So let's go in on the detail on the hair. So these are again made of chitin. Uh, as the creature grows, um, it produces, its, it creates this chitin exoskeleton, so it's a sort of a shell on the outside. And the hairs themselves have this lovely detail. I wonder if we can go any closer. I'll try going one step closer. Um, and there you can really begin to see the lovely detail on this hair here. Ooh, if I move my mouse over here, you've got these ridges on the hair. It's not, it's not spirals, it's sort of ridges that are going up together and meeting at the top like that. If I turn the speed down a little bit, we'll get a better image. Oh, no, that's, hold on. If I turn it down like that, you get a better image because this is a scanning electron microscope. The electron beam is scanning across our sample and that's giving us the imagery. And the slower the beam scans, the more detail you get, but the slower it takes. So um, basically what you do is you have the, the, the speed set to quite fast, you move around, you find what you're interested in, and then you slow the speed right down and you get better and better imagery. And obviously when you take actual pictures, you slow it right down to nothing. So there you go. Um, I should probably stop there. I could spend hours just playing around and zooming around. What you've got there is a super duper close up, uh, and we're talking here now, that the scale bar at the bottom, three microns. So my dot here is maybe two microns across. So the dot is maybe the size of a bacterium, one bacteria, uh, and this hair is about that diameter across. And yet we can see the detail within that. A fantastic piece of kit. Right, okay, let's zoom out a little bit. Um, a couple more, just so we can see a little bit more of what's going. Oh, and I'll turn the speed up a bit so that we don't need to go quite that slowly. And centre it there. So, OK, that's all I really wanted to, to say today. Just show you a little bit more on the scanning electron microscope. Now, I will put in the show notes on the YouTube video of this, because there's a YouTube version and a, and a Twitter version. But if you go to the YouTube version, I will put links to all the other micro minutes where I've used the scanning electron microscope. And we've looked at a pollen and we've looked at a butterfly's wing. And some of the imagery is just amazing. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's all I've got time for. Join me for other micro minutes. Bye-bye.